Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall we just worship Him? Hallelujah. Shall we just worship Him? Let's give Him praise. Let's honor Him. Let's bless the name of the Lord this evening. Let's magnify the name of the Lord. The great I am that I am. The King of Kings. The Lord of Lords. The bright and morning star, the ancient of days, the one who has the all power, who all power belongs to. We worship you, we give you praise, we magnify your name, we worship you, O Lord. Great and mighty King are you. There's not to be compared with you. There's not, there's not, there's no other God except you. You are the one who created all things. The great and mighty one who sustains everything with his power. Lord, we give you praise. We thank you. You are the one that has kept us right from the beginning, oh Lord Father. Lord of this month of September, you brought us right to the 24th. We are grateful. We magnify your name. We worship you. You are our rock and our defense. You are our rock and our defense. You give us victory on every side. We give you praise. We honor you. You are the great and mighty one. Great and mighty one. Who can stand against you? No other God. No other God. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We honor you, Lord. We say, Lord, be thou exalted. Lord, be thou exalted. Be thou magnified. Be thou glorified. In the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Father, I pray that your word come. Lord, with the power to transform, to heal, to us, to bring about deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that, Lord, even as I speak, let it not be me. Lord, let your Holy Spirit speak through me in the name of Jesus. I yield myself unto you. Use me, Lord, this evening as an instrument of righteousness. Lord, to bless each and every one that is here in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the name Hallelujah. of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And amen. amen. Hallelujah. We just quickly go into the word. Hallelujah. Thank amen. you. Thank you so much. Bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. Tonight we are gathered to break evil sieges. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. To break evil sieges. Because that is one tactic of the enemy to what draw people away from God, to divert their attention from God. Praise the name of the Lord. So we're here tonight to deal with that because we know that the enemy is, he keeps on laying sieges. He never stops. Praise the name of the Lord. And tonight he will meet his match. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So what do we mean by siege? What do we mean by a siege? What do we mean by a siege? When the enemy comes not to fight you directly, but he comes and surrounds you. Praise the name of the Lord. He doesn't come directly to fight you. He doesn't appear to you directly, but he surrounds you. Praise the name of the Lord. And when I'm talking about surrounding, I'm not talking about just surrounding you. He can surround your heart. He can surround your thoughts. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And it doesn't stop with only surrounding. What his intention is to cut off supply. That is the whole thing about siege. It means the enemy surrounds with an intention to cut off supply. Supply. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when he knows that the supply is limited, that is when he strikes. Praise the name of the Lord. But tonight we are aware of his tactics and we know that the siege is going to be over. In anyone's life, upon any nation, upon any community, the siege is over. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. So that's what the enemy does. He surrounds and wants to bring about what a cut in supply. What is he trying to cut when he lays a seat against the child of God? First of all, he can surround your heart, praise the name of the Lord, draw your heart away from God. That is what he's trying to do. Cut off the supply of the power, power of God. Praise the name of the Lord. You see yourself what? Not wanting to study. You see yourself not wanting to praise. He's what? Cutting off the supply of power. Praise the name of the Lord. 
that is his tactics when he lays siege. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. He can lay siege over a family. He can lay siege over a nation. He can lay siege over a home, over marriage, over a community. He can lay sieges. Praise the name of the Lord. With the intention of all that he's trying to do is cut off the supply. When he lays a siege against the marriage, he's trying to cut the supply of love. When he lays a siege, a siege against the family, he's trying to what? Break relationships. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's trying to cut off the supply. That is what he's up to when he lays a siege. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And you remember in that uh, 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 the, the book that we read, that uh, chapter that we read in 2 Kings chapter 6, you see that what the king did, he came and he laid a siege against the city. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Then we are, we are going to go in and look what happens when a siege is what laid. Praise the name of the Lord. What happens when a siege is laid? As I said, what he does is surrounds. He surrounds a home. He surrounds a, 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 a child. He surrounds what? A man, a woman. Praise the name of the Lord. He surrounds a nation. Hallelujah. Amen. With the intention of bringing about what? Defeat. All he's trying to do is bring about defeat. You, When all the supply is gone, then you are weak. That's what he's trying to do. He tries to weaken by what comes in of the supply. Once the world, like a child of God, when he surrounds a child of God, lays a seed for a side of child of God, what is he trying to do? To stop the word of God. Hallelujah. He's trying to stop praise. Hallelujah. He's trying to stop prayer. So when you see those signs coming up, you don't like to watch, study anymore. You see yourself not wanting to praise anymore. You see yourself not wanting to pray anymore. The enemy is what? Laying a siege. Because by that, at the end of the day, you become weak. And then he's able to strike. Praise the name of the Lord. But that shall not be your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. He shuts out the word of God, which is a, is a supply of energy. He shuts out what? Prayer, which is a supply of energy. He shuts out what? Praise, which is a supply of energy. Praise the name of the Lord. What happens? You become weaker and weaker. Weaker and weaker until you are rendered what powerless and ineffective. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then he's able to strike with no effort. With no effort, he's able to strike. That's what a siege is all about. To weaken. To weaken the opponent. To be able to watch so that they are able to strike. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It also has something to do with a creep. The enemy having a creep over you. Praise the name of the Lord. Having a creep over you. Having what to chop you. To want to what suffocate you. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank God for the testimony of our dear uh, uh, Pastor Bridget. That's what the enemy intended. He was laying a siege for her to what? Cut off the word of, uh, from the word of God. Cut off from prayer. Hallelujah. Cut off from praise. Hallelujah. And that can happen. Because you get frustrated. You are not getting healed. You see that you know everything that you have believed is not working. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. But it's the only delay a siege. So that in that unbelief, he's able to strike. But thank God you are able to find the word. I love what you say. You say you found the word. Yeah. You found the word. Yeah. That, was, <laughs> that was what sorted you out. Because with the word, you are able to what? Destroy every plan of the enemy. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And when it comes to what a siege, God needs what spiritual soldiers. Spiritual soldiers. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Those who have nothing to do with their fears of men. Praise the name of the Lord. Those who are sold out for the cause. Those are the ones who are able to challenge what? The siege of the enemy. God needs spiritual soldiers. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And as a, as a that, even the church needs to wake up. Praise the name of the Lord. The church needs to what? Transform the disciples. The disciples into what? Into soldiers. 
each and every one of you, the young ones here, you are, we are discipling you so that you become soldiers in his kingdom. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You become soldiers in his kingdom. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. One thing I want to assure you is that what God has what already what defeated the enemy. No, it's that God has already what defeated what the enemy. All he's wanting us to do what is to what enforce what he has already done. Praise the name of the Lord. And that's why we are here tonight. We know that he's a defeated fool. We know that the, the Lord has defeated him. We know that Jesus has what spoiled everything about him. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. But we are here to what enforce it because he never stops. We are here to what enforce that. We are here to what demonstrate that and display it. Praise the name of the Lord. We are, because we are not going to allow him to just begin to lay sieges over lives, over marriages, over homes. We are not going to allow that. Praise the name of the Lord. Because when it has been raised in the spirit that there is a seed somewhere that needs to be broken, that means we have to rise up and what? Go against it. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. And the enemy is laying sieges everywhere, everywhere. In homes, marriages, in, 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 in lives of individuals. Praise the name of the Lord. But I'd like to see that, uh, let's just look at a few sieges that have been laid over Ireland, over this nation. There's a siege of what? Religiosity. It's a siege. It's a siege of the enemy. Not allowing the people to, not allow their eyes to be opened unto the truth. Praise the name of the Lord. It's a siege. Siege of what? Idolatry. Idolatry. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why you see they go about sins. They go about uh, Mary, statue of Mary. It's idolatry. It's a siege of the enemy. And that has to be broken over this nation. Praise the name of the Lord. A siege of what? Addiction. And that's why you see young ones all over the place into what addictions. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Young ones with great destinies. But what the seed of what addiction that the enemy has laid over this nation will not allow them to rise beyond what the enemy has what planned for them. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Addiction what is a siege. Is a siege of the enemy. Praise the name of the Lord. He just lays it over the nation. And what happened, one thing about siege is that it lasts such a long time. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why it takes soldiers to gather, to gather up their work, to run up resources and to go against that siege. Because with a siege, he's actually just drawing out what power. He's not allowing power to what? Be supplied to the use. Praise the name of the Lord. All they know is drugs. All they know is what? Alcohol. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a siege. When you see something is strong like that, a grip of the enemy that is so strong is a siege. Pride is a siege. In, the, in Ireland, every Irish man or uh, man Muslim, praise the name of the Lord. He's a proud man. Praise the name of the Lord. Every Irish man, even women, praise the name of the Lord, are proud. There's pride there. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. It's a siege. It's a siege. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. The siege of death, of murder. That is why you see people killing themselves anyhow. Guns against guns in Lord, in Dublin there, in other countries, in Dundalk, everywhere in the country. Praise the name of the Lord. It's a siege of the enemy. Because it's not, it's, you will see, it keeps on happening. The same thing over and over. The same families that are against one another there in Dublin have been against one another. And the, the, the guys cannot do anything about it. It's a siege of the enemy. Praise the name of the Lord. Perversion. Why is it? A, it's a siege. Perversion in this nation of Ireland, 
Praise the name of the Lord. A godly nation known, a known, a nation known as a godly nation before has become so perverse, allowing what uh, 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 I mean, um, uh, gazing to what to, to to just to just flow. Praise the name of the Lord. LGBT has become like 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 normal in the country. Praise the name of the Lord. Gender what perverseness, that's what it's called. Gender perverseness. That it is it is a terrible thing, but it's the seed of the enemy. It's a seed that what people don't know when they are what when they are what advocating for such things, they are, they are, they are being used by the enemy to lay a seed over this nation. No nation in this it was what Ireland that was first in all. And to admit what uh, 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 what do you call it now? Something the marriage, isn't it? Gay marriage. Gay marriage. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a seed of this nation. We need to break it. Praise the name of the Lord. The seed of what sickness and disease. I know cancer is one of them. Mm-hmm. No many families that have not there's no hardly any family that has not been touched. By what cancer in this nation, and that look, it makes it that what is a sin over this nation. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. What is he trying to do? He's trying to with, with all this, he's trying to what draw the men and the women, the youths and the children away from God. Away from God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. We are going to look at seven things that happen when a siege is taking place. Seven things that happen. Second Corinthians, uh, Second Kings, chapter uh, six, and from verse twenty-four. Sec- Second um, Kings, and from uh, uh, chapter six, and from verse twenty-four. Hallelujah! Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And it happened that this, and it, ha- and it happened after this, that Ben Hadad, king of Syria, gathered all his army and went up and besieged Samaria. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That's how the enemy just behaves. He just one day he just thinks about it. This home will not prosper. This marriage will not prosper. And he just raised a siege against that home, against that marriage. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He says that there was what? A great what? Famine. Praise the name of the Lord. That's the number one thing that happens when a siege is laid. You see a famine. Praise the name of the Lord. You see spiritual dryness. Spiritual dryness. A drought of spiritual power. Praise the name of the Lord. Things begin to operate what in desert-like conditions. Desert-like conditions. Praise the name of the Lord. The spiritual what dryness. Look at this nation island. How many people know the Lord? They are just a handful. There's what you call a spiritual dryness. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. A drought of the power of God. Unbelievers are more than what you believers. Praise the name of the Lord. The nation is full of what? Unbelievers. Praise the name of the Lord. So there's a famine. That's number one thing that happens. Praise the name of the Lord. A drought of the power of God. Hallelujah. You know, that this keeps on reminding me of what, you know, one of our pastors said in personary. He said, in those days, in those days, there used to be what the power of God flowing. He says in the times when there was what, what you know as full gospel, the full gospel, the full gospel. She said in those days, you couldn't get a seat sometimes. In this nation, it has happened. You couldn't get a seat to go into the full gospel business and uh, uh, men's fellowship. You couldn't get a seat. What has happened? spiritual dryness because the enemy has laid a siege he knew that something powerful was coming up and he laid a siege 
the lady siege. So number one thing is what? Spiritual dryness. Spiritual dryness. A drought of the power of God. Desert-like conditions. Praise the name of the Lord. You see yourself in the, in, in the desert. You find everything is harsh. The weather is harsh. Everything is harsh. Water is hard, hard to come by. Praise the name of the Lord. There's struggle everywhere. Struggle everywhere. Spiritual dryness. There's a famine. There's a famine. That's number one. Number two. In that scripture, it says the donkey's head was what? Sold for what? 80 shekels. 80 shekels is actually a lot of money. The donkey itself, I don't even think it would have sold at 80 shekels. But in a famine, the donkey, the head only of the donkey was selling for what? 80 shekels. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Everything becomes what? Inflated. Inflated. Praise the name of the Lord. But that's not where I'm going in this. When it comes to what? When you think of the donkey, how what do we know what the donkey is? It's the beast of what? Of burden. It's called the beast of burden. All the donkey does is to what? To carry the load. Carry the load. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And what, what does that signify? This signifies that everyone becomes what? Burdened. That's number two. Everyone becomes what? Burdened. In a what? In a siege. Everyone becomes burdened. Remember, if you think about what has just happened recently, think about what the pandemic. Look at what has happened. The essential workers became what? Burdened. Burdened. The essential workers became what? Burdened. The teachers, the Gadi, the health workers, holiday sector, all of them became what? Burdened. That's the donkey effect. The donkey effect. Because the donkey represents what? The beast of burden. That means when there's a siege, the burden, there's a certain sector of the people are burdened. Even the whole community, the whole nation becomes what? Burdened. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You see, the health workers couldn't cope with what was going on. They became burdened. The Gadi, they couldn't cope with, you know, with having to look out for who is crossing to which county or the other. They were overburdened. Overburdened. Pride. Praise the name of the Lord. And why is it so? Why does that happen? Why is it that they become burdened? Because they are what? Depending on the wisdom of man, not the wisdom of God. Praise the name of the Lord. They are depending on what? The wisdom of man. All about the pandemic. Nobody arose and said, let us pray for this nation. Let us pray against what this coronavirus. No one in the nation. If you did, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All that was, what was, was raining was the scholars were looking for how to what? Make a vaccine. Everything depended on the decree that they got in the university. Everything was what? About the man. Not about God. Praise the name of the Lord. You see that the workers, they depended on their wisdom. They, it's only in America, I even saw a little bit of the, 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 the health workers gathering up to pray. Yeah, it never happened. Praise the name of the Lord. The health workers, when they became overburdened in America, they began to pray. Because they knew that this is no more has to do, it doesn't have to do with what man's wisdom, but with God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And that's what the enemy does. He lays a siege. And after cutting off what the word of God, cutting off prayer, cutting off praise, people begin to depend on what? On their own wisdom and knowledge. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Number three thing. It says, dog, dog was what? Expensive. Dog, dog was what? Expensive. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Can you believe that in that time they had to eat the dog? Not even the dog, but the dog of the dog. They had to eat. 
Don't don't become what expensive. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. But that is not all that is happening when you are talking about the dove. The dove represents what the Holy Spirit. There's a departure of what the Holy Spirit. When the seed is laid, praise the name of the Lord. Because that's the focus of the enemy is to cut off power. And there's a departure of what the Holy Spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. A time when we no longer what experience what the power of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a time when there's a form of what godliness, but there's a denial of the power. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Everybody here, you say. Do you, do, you, do, you have, do you believe? Yeah, I believe God. But do you believe the power that is in Do you know Jesus? Yeah, I know Jesus. Do you believe the power that really is in Jesus Christ? Mm, I don't even know that. Mm. Godliness but denial of what the power. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, yeah. That's number three thing. Representing the dove. There's a departure what? of the Holy Spirit. Departure of power. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Number four thing. He says what? There is what? A time. It's a time when help is hard to find. Help will be hard to find. Help will be hard to find. In the beginning of what? The whole coronavirus. Help was hard to find. Praise the name of the Lord. They didn't have anything. They didn't know what was going on. There was no one that could help. The government could not help. The people could not help. The, uh, the essential workers could not help. What was going on? It's a time when nothing, you, you find you are looking for help, but you can't find help. Praise the name of the Lord. In that chapter that I'm talking about, it says that the woman called upon the king of Israel. Oh, king of Israel, please help me. And the king of Israel said, what? I can't help you. If I can it's, it's only God that can help you. What does that represent? The power of God there had what disappeared. People are looking for help of man. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a time when what people find it's difficult to find help. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I say help is hard to find because everyone is depending on the physical way out. The physical way out of what? Of what's the siege. But there's no way the physical way can help you out of a siege. Only with God can you what? Destroy a siege. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Even from the government, you can't find help. The woman called upon what the king. She said, King, who is the head of all the government? Please help me. King said, I can't help you. I can't help you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You see that the rulers walk around what in sackcloth. They walk around what in sackcloth because they don't know what to do. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. If you see the, in, in this time of siege uh, 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 of the coronavirus, you could see that even Mel Martin, you could you don't even know that he was even t shock Because his whole reign has been what? Has been uh, 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 about what? About coronavirus. His whole reign for two years that he's going to spend is about coronavirus. He had nothing. It was like it's like walking in sackcloth. A whole to a whole a whole president. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. It's a time when everything begins to fail. Everything begins to fail. That's why, you know, that woman, why was she looking for help? Because everything was failing. The justice system has failed. That's why she had to come up to what the king himself. The justice system has failed that. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 
Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Number five thing. Number five thing. I want you to listen to this carefully. Is that parents fail. Families fail. Family structure fails. Parents fails. What happened? When it came to the point whereby things were so difficult, the parents started boiling their children. It shows that parents fail when there's a siege. Parents fail. The family structure fails. The family structure fails. The mother and the father that is supposed to look after the child begin to consume the child. Family structure fails. Hallelujah. The parents fail in time of, of what siege. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As a parents who are meant to look after their children end up destroying them when there's a siege. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 And that's why you see so many children wandering aimlessly around in town because the parents have failed. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Parents of this nation have failed. Praise the name of the Lord. Family structures have been destroyed by sieges that the enemy has laid. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Parents even are now scared of their children. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Children wandering the streets aimlessly. Praise God. Hallelujah. Fathers what have given up what their responsibilities. Since weak fathers, dysfunctional fathers we find around. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Fathers that were pregnant one year, today pregnant, two tomorrow, pregnant, everywhere. And it looks like the norm of the land. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But that's a siege. It's a siege that is happening. When you see family structure failing, when you see parents failing, it's a siege that the enemy has laid. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number six is that what destinies of children are being what sacrificed. Destinies of children are what being sacrificed. Praise the name of the Lord. That child that they ate, who knew, who knew if, if it was going to be one of the great prophets in what? In the Bible. A destiny consumed. A destiny consumed. Destinies are consumed when there is a sin. Destinies are consumed when there's a siege. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, the prisons are filled up now, filled up with destinies, filled up with destinies, with covered glories. Youths that have, should have been what great and mighty men in this world, they end up in prison because of the siege of the enemy. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The siege of addiction. The siege of murder and death. Praise the name of the Lord. They find themselves ending up in prison. Hallelujah. Amen. Children losing their dreams. No more having dreams. No more having dreams. When you see that happening, there's a siege going on. Children don't, they don't mind now. It's a, uh, why do I have to read? Why do I have to read? Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's a siege. The seed and that must be broken. Amen. They are losing their dreams. Destinies are being destroyed. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Children are not having interest in church. I beg you, children, when this time that you have been spoken to about church, you need to take it seriously. Yes. Because it's a siege of the enemy. All he's trying to do is what keep you away from the power of God. Yes. Distract you from what will surely give you power. This world cannot give you power. This world cannot do anything for you. But God can. Hallelujah. When you see yourself not liking to come to church, it's a seed of the enemy and you need to rise up against it. Amen. Rise up against it. Because it's a way of what cutting you off from power. That is all that the enemy is focused on. Cut you away from the power and then you are destroyed. Cut you away from power and you are destroyed. Praise the name of the Lord. 
You see, sin is breathing in the midst of children nowadays. Sin is breathing in their midst nowadays. Praise. That's why I say, be careful what on social media. It's not everything that is for you. There's a limit. You have to know your limit. You have to know where you stand as a child of God. As a child of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because when they sin, you are cut off totally from what God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You are cut off totally from God. Remember Achan. Says Israel, there is no nation that they come against. They were just defeating them. Praise the name. But it came against this little tiny town that was called Ai, is it? Tiny town called Ai. And this town defeated them. Said, ah, what is it? The man of God had to say, the man of God says, I need, I need to know what is going on here because something is happening. Something is wrong. We have defeated large nations and now it comes to Ali, they defeat us. Something is wrong. At the end of the day, it was Achan who sinned. It's Achan who sinned. He took the things of, 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 the, of what, the, the temple of God and he was trying to take it away. Praise the name of the Lord. Sin is what is damnation. It destroys. Praise the name of the Lord. But when there's a siege, you see, just breathing. It just is it's, it's like nothing. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Number seven thing. Number seven. Is that what? The spiritual people are attacked. Spiritual people are what? Attacked. What did the king there say? The king that was under siege. What did you remember at the end of the day? What did you remember? 2 Kings chapter 6 verse 31. Let's see it. 2 Kings chapter 6 and verse 31. Verse 31. Hallelujah. Amen. He says what? Verse 31. Then he said, God do so, and more also to me, if the head of what? Elijah the son of Sabbath shall stand on him this day. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Who caused the siege? It wasn't Elijah. Praise the name of the Lord. But at the end of the day, spiritual man is attacked. And that's what happened. It's, it's, it, 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 the, 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 the church is attacked on every side. Praise the name of the Lord. As a child of God, you are attacked on every side when there's a siege. Elijah was just there. The people were suffering from a siege. But the, what did the king remember? That the head of Elijah may be caught. Spiritual people are what? Attacked. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. What happened during the lockdown? The first people that were closed down, the church. They didn't even think that, ah, church, are they not praying there? Are they not, is there not power there? They don't even know that. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Is the church, they first closed down. And the church, they nearly last me even opened. They open other things before church. Spiritual people are attacked mm -hmm. when there's a siege. When there's a siege. Elisha was what? Attacked. Attacked. He was not the main, he was not the cause of the siege, but he was attacked. Mm -hmm. Under a siege. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And that's how it is. The church, the church is under attack. The Tishok and the Baraka came in and he caught this nation of everything about God. That's what he did. He caught this nation. The Catholic told that he would say he had a little power in this nation. No more. No more. That's what he came to do. He came to cut this nation what? off from any kind of source of power. He caught this nation off. It's a siege. And we need to rise up Amen. and pray. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So what's the answer to a siege? What's the answer to a siege? What's the answer to a siege? I put it down. Prophecy. Prayer. Second Kings chapter 1. Uh, seven, Second Kings chapter 7 and verse 1. 
prophecy. Prophecy. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. It says, Then Elijah said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. I didn't take it. You know, Elisha never, nobody told Elisha that, nobody told Elisha that uh, his, the head of his head was called for, but he had it. He had it. That is how God loves you. He will tell you where, he will tell you the, the, the things that are hidden. The secret things he will tell you. Elijah never, he was not told about, he didn't even hear that the man called for his head. But he already knew. He said, just wait, that man of, uh, is sending a servant for my head. Praise the name of the Lord. But uh, that's what God does. He loves us so much that he tells us even the secret things we know before it happens. Praise the name of the Lord. But look at what Elisha did here. He says, here is the word of the Lord. It is the word of the Lord. He says, don't say to the Lord, tomorrow, about this time, shall a measure of fine flour be sold for what a shekel, and two measures of barley for a shekel, in the gate of what Samaria. In the gate of what Samaria. He spoke the word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. And who is what? The word. Who the, the word we know is Jesus. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. And as soon as he spoke that word, it was already put into prayer, into what? Operation. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It was already put into operation that the seed was going to be over. Mm -hmm. The seed was going to be over. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That's why I put it down. I say, Declare the siege is over yes. as Elijah did. Yes. Declare it that what the siege, the siege is over. over. It's over. It's high time we begin to declare. The siege must be over. It's over. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. First Kings chapter 20 from verse 13. First Kings chapter 20 from verse 13. The same thing happened. You won't believe it. The same king, the same enemy came. First king, chapter 20 and verse 13. What happened there? Sorry, what happened there was that the king came. He besieged uh, Samaria. And what did he ask for? He asked for the kings. He asked for the king's gold, silver. He asked for the king's wives, the king's children. And the king said, Oh, please take it. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He says, please take it. That's one thing that happens when there's a siege. You begin to even lose your possessions. Mm -hmm. You lose all that you have. Because that's what the enemy is, is looking for. Mm -hmm. To take everything that you have. Leave you what? Helpless. Mm -hmm. And after taking the gold, silver, and the, uh, uh, and, the, uh, the wives and the sons, he now sends back and says, uh, tomorrow we are coming after we have taken your gold silver we are coming tomorrow to search your houses to take everything that is valuable not only your house not only the king's house but I'm coming to search even your servant's house yeah. houses to take everything and the man of the, the king said ah, ah, this is a bit too much he called the meeting when he called the meeting he says look what has happened I've given the, the, this king who this king that has come, that has besieged us, I've given him gold, silver, my wives, my sons. Now he's saying he wants to come and take everything valuable in our house. In our houses. And thank God for a prophet. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And let's see from verse 13. And behold, yes, from verse 13. And behold, there came a prophet into unto Ahab, king of Israel, saying, Dots says the Lord, has thou seen all this great multitude? Behold, I will deliver it into thy hand this day, and thou shalt know that what I am the Lord. Whatever siege that you are going through, the Lord will give you victory. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Ahab said. Then look at what Ahab said. He says, By whom? And he said, Thus says the Lord, even by the young men and princes of the provinces. Then he said, Who shall order the battle? I like this. Then he says, Who shall order the battle? The prophet said, What? And he answered, Thou. That is you. You have to take over. When it comes to any siege uh, against your life, against your destiny, you have to take over. You have to declare, you have to declare that I don't want this siege anymore. Yes. You have to declare it over. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You have to prophesy against what? Every war, every siege. Speak against it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In Ezekiel chapter 37 tells us about what? The time when uh, 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 Ezekiel was in, 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 in the valley there of dry bones. And God says, speak to the bones. And uh, um, uh, Ezekiel was saying, how, how is it? Do you want me to speak? Yeah, he says, speak to the bones. And as soon as he spoke to the bones, everything became alive. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. What am I trying to get at? The words that you speak are powerful. Yes. Jesus says what? The words you speak, what are that he speaks, what? Are spirit and they are life. Till today, those words that you speak, any word that you speak, any declaration that you make, any prophecy that you make, has what? That power yes. to deliver, Amen. to change any situation. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because any word that you speak, Jesus is in that word. He is the word. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You see what Peter and Paul, Peter and John said to that man that was at the beautiful gate. He says, silver and gold I have not, but what? In the name of what? Jesus. He spoke to him. In the name of Jesus. He says, rise up and what? And walk. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus is in every word. When you speak that word, it's Jesus that is inside the power. Everything about the Jesus, about the Holy Spirit, everything is in that word. To bring about what victory for you. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So number one, how to enter what a siege is to speak against that siege. Prophesy against it. Pray against it. Praise the name of the Lord. Speak the word against it. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Secondly, is what? The anointing. The anointing. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27. The anointing. Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 27. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. There are some things that only lives by what the anointing. Hallelujah. And he tells us here. Verse 27, and it shall come to pass that in that day that this burden, hallelujah. Amen. What did I say? Said, well, I, I said when, it's, when there's a siege, there's a burden upon everyone. He said that this burden shall be what? Taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be what? Destroyed by what? Because of the anointing. Because of the anointing. Because of the anointing. Praise the name of the Lord. How do you draw the anointing? Prayer, the word. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise. You draw the anointing. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 The anointing was, it breaks the yoke. It lifts the burden. The anointing. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. David was an anointed man of God. And that's why he was able to what defeat Goliath. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Goliath was a siege. He led a siege against the army of God. And David said, ah, Who is this? Ah, against God himself? Who is this one? All circumcised world Philistines laying siege against the armies of God? How can it be? The enemy can only try, as I said, the enemy has been what defeated. We are only here to what enforce it. David enforced it that. Look, the, the end, he says God is greater than the, what you giant. He was there to enforce it, to demonstrate it and display it. And that's what we are meant to do now. Praise the name of the Lord. We are meant to what demonstrate that. Praise the name of the Lord. 
by the reason of the anointing. By the reason of the anointing. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Then finally, I just have to stop here and I'll praise the name of the Lord. Finally, is wisdom. The Bible talks about wisdom being what? The principal thing. Wisdom is the principal thing. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 13 to 18. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, um, from verse 13 to 18. We see something there. Wisdom. Wisdom. Hallelujah. To break any siege. Wisdom. It says, the wisdom, have, I said, this wisdom have I seen also under the sun. And it seemed great unto me that there was a little city and few men within it. And there came a great king against it and besieged it. Just like you, you're just a small child, you're just a small boy, you're just a young man, you're just a young woman. And then he's laying siege over you. And what did he say? Yet no man, he says, and now, sorry, we are a great, great king and besieged it and built a great bulwarks against it. Now there was what found in a poor wise man, a poor wise man. And he, by his wisdom, delivered the city. And he, by what? His wisdom, delivered the city. You are more than a poor wise man. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You have the Holy Spirit in you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. There is no seed that can come against you, that can defeat you. Praise the name of the Lord. Because the wisdom of God is upon you. The wisdom of God is in you. Praise the name of the Lord. He said what? The poor wise man was able to what? Defeat the city. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. But if you look at it again, that poor wise man is what? Is Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. What does the Bible tell, tell us about Jesus? He himself became poor that we may become what? Rich. The poor wise man. He may be poor, but wisdom was there. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Only through Jesus can we what defeat what the enemy. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's quickly look at Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 10. Ecclesiastes 10 and verse 10. Praise the name of the Lord. I think that was talking about Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 10. Where are we? 10 is where? Okay. Praise the name of the Lord. He said, If then the iron be blunt, and he do not wet the edge, then must he put to more strength. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And what is he talking about? He's saying that anything that is dull can has no effect. Anything that is dull has no effect. Praise the name of the Lord. He says here you have to wet them out and add a lot of strength before it actually comes to effect. Praise the name of the Lord. And that's why when it comes to sieges, it's the, to, 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 to come against any siege is not for dull Christians. Praise the name of the Lord. It's not for child of, a child of God who, has, who doesn't have the word, who doesn't have what, who is not anointed. It is not that. It is not for those when it comes to sieges, to break sieges. As I said, it is for soldiers who are what committed, what their lives to what the cause to this work praise the name of the lord is not for what dull christians because dull christians are not what effective praise the name of the lord the bible says what the effective what prayer of what the righteous man the effective and what powerful prayer and fervent prayer of what the righteous he says i feel it much and that's why we are going to enter this session of prayer. 
Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the people that are